What's up guys, welcome back to Quake Combat. Uh, sorry for the delay in the videos guys. So what's your fucking excuse? You guys have been busy lately and I've been getting some battle wounds and had the UFC and stuff like that. So yeah, not really good excuses, but they are my excuses. So today we're gonna go over a technique that Israel had a lot of success with and it's also a technique that you'll find in a lot of uh, Lumpini fights and a lot of Thai fighters quite often use this as well. So the technique guys is uh, four by two and four by two, just means my rear leg and my rear hand. Uh, four is just the number we use for kick at our gym, and two is our rear hand. In this case, it's my right hand and my right leg. We're gonna deal with kind of a, a situation like if I throw my round kick into somebody, so my rear leg, and they keep blocking it and they keep countering me, uh, I'm gonna try stifle that counter with my rear hand. So as soon as I hit with my leg, before my leg even gets back to the ground, I'll throw my right hand. So it's gonna look like a Superman punch, kind of, but a little bit different. The only difference between my usual round kick and this kick is my shoulder position. So usually when I throw my rear kick, I throw my leg and my shoulder follows my leg like this. So as you watch my kick now, you'll see my shoulder rotate with my leg. So the only difference is, now when I throw this kick, I'm gonna leave my shoulder back. So it's gonna look like this. So I pull my shoulder back. And the reason I do that is because I'm gonna load up my rear hand. So I'll show what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, I leave my shoulder back so that I can really load up my rear hand and turn my knuckle over and make my punch hard. So guys, as you can see, me leaving my shoulder back really allows me to turn my knuckle in and uh, cause some damage. And you'll see in this video, uh, Israel using it against Derek Brunson when he fought at Madison Square Garden in New York. That's how he actually initially dropped Derek. And uh, also guys, a lot of uh, Thai fighters use this in the stadium fights in Thailand. Um, I'm not sure why. It's just a really popular thing over there and they call it kick punch. And it's been going off there for a long, long time. So guys, you've seen the four by two, so that's my rear leg followed by my rear hand. So now we're just gonna do Vice versa, we're gonna do the opposite. So I'm gonna use two by four. So my rear hand and my rear leg trailing just behind it. So this is a really uh, useful technique to hide your kick. For instance, if I keep throwing my rear hand and the opponent keeps slipping it, I'm gonna throw it with the exact same motion. I'm gonna keep my body rolling. Just let it roll to the outside. I'm not gonna reset my arm like this. I'm just gonna let my arm roll through and my leg's gonna follow and hopefully catch my opponent uh, with my kick because I slip in my hand. Reagan Ursel's had a lot of success using this. He's used it against Joe Nuttall in a lion fight. Uh, Reagan kept blocking Joe's kick and throwing the right hand, and uh, Joe started to slip it. So next time he blocked the kick, he threw his right hand like the standard Dutch counter, and as he threw it, boom, his leg trailed after, and he caught Joe and knocked him down. And guys, in the uh, UFC, Andre Feely has successfully used the exact same technique as well. But I'm gonna show you guys on the bag. So as before, I threw my, my leg first and I brought my shoulder back and threw my punch after. Now my shoulder's gonna continue moving through the punch. So this is how I usually throw my right hand. Okay, and most people throw this punch and their shoulder's gonna come back like this as they throw their back. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just throw my one, two, and let my leg continuously flow. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pitch a punch in through the bag and then my shoulder keep rolling like this, okay? And in the same motion, my leg is gonna follow after throwing my kick, okay? So you can throw the punch, you can't commit to it, or you can just shadow it and fake it. It's up to you, I like to throw the punch and so it pulls my leg through, okay? So I'm not very flexible, so I like to throw this at like a high pace so I can really get my leg up there, okay? So I'll turn my one, two. Imagine the opponent keeps slipping out here. So now I'm gonna go one, two, four. So guys, as you can see, we have two techniques. Uh, they're very similar with slight differences, but they're very, very useful. And they work in both kickboxing and MMA. So I hope you guys enjoy these ones and I hope you enjoy the examples because they are a really, really good demonstration of them being used in both MMA and kickboxing. So guys, as usual, subscribe, like the video, leave comments below and let me know if you've used this or if you're going to use this or you just try to inspire after seeing this video. Let me know if it went well for you and also hit the notification bell above. I'll see you guys next week for the next video.